What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about one of my very most recent things that I've just been so fired up on, I wanted to share it with you. Film grain. Adding film to your video makes it just so, oh, makes it look so good. It gives it a texture, it gives it a feel, it makes it different than what we're used to seeing on YouTube. And I absolutely love that. And I wanted to share that with you today. Today we're gonna to talk about the easiest way to add film grain to your footage for whatever you wanna use it for, whether it's your B-roll or your story, or you just want some texture to kind of like tie everything together. Just some crunchy, mm, some crunchy, crunchy goodness that is film grain. Anyway, let's hop into the computer, let's talk about it, let's get you dialed in so you can add some crispy goodness to your footage. All right, so here's some film grain on this footage and then these next couple clips. And I'll show you what they look like before and after. Now, I was so pumped on where the grain brought this to. This is what we'll use as our image today. So we'll hop on over to the color tab. I will remove this stuff so you can see what it looks like. So here's before and after putting grain on it. Grain and film damage, which is something that is incredibly easy to do in DaVinci Resolve, and I wanna show you how to do that. So let's start from the beginning and let's make this image go from this to that, because I like this. I like this a lot. All right, so this is what it looks like with my base grade, and I'm gonna hop up here to the effects panel. First thing I'm gonna type in in the search box is film film grain, and you can add as much grain or as little grain to you want it, as easy as that. And you can change the opacity so you can see how that adds more grain and less. You can see what the grain only looks like if you just wanna see that. Now 16 millimeters is a little bit crunchy. I really like 16 millimeters. 35 is traditional, more TV looking style. You know, make it what you want. Use eight, eight's chunkier than 16. I've really been digging 16, so we're gonna use 16 for this. And then we're gonna get out of there. I've been keeping the opacity around 0.5. And you can change all this stuff right down here, which is why DaVinci Resolve is so, oh. I'm so happy I switched to DaVinci Resolve from Premiere. Everything is right down here for you if you want to change it. This global blend is another way you can change the opacity or maybe keyframe it in, keyframe it out. Those are both good things if you want to use them. And then if you want to take it over the top from here, now you've got your grain on here. Now let's add some film damage. You can see what that did. You can see that my image didn't look like this before. This is bright, this is, you know, this is something for sure. Some of you might dig this. What I did, just to cool it off and to make it a little more neutral looking than it is, I changed the global blend down here. But again, you have all these awesome options down here that you can mess with. I like how this looks, minus some of the look, really. So what I did was come to the global blend, and then I brought this back down somewhere in here. Looks pretty good. Now, if you wanna see the before and after, we'll just click here. Here's where it at, there's where it is. Here's one more clip. I, I did basically the same, a very similar thing to. Here's where it was, here's where it is. It just, you know, nothing is ever film. Film is film. It, film's film for a reason, but just getting a little closer to it with the digital camera, being able to easily swap over just like that, I think is pretty damn cool. It's as easy as that, guys. You can add film grain, film damage to your footage just like that. Effects panel drop it on, adjust it as you see it best fit. I hope you use it. I love the look of film. It just gives footage a different vibe. This year is 10K or bust. I'm going for 10,000 subscribers this year. I'm gonna commit to putting stuff out regularly for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Leave the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this style of video. And if you'd like to see any more tutorials or have questions about DaVinci Resolve or cameras, leave your questions and comments down below. I'm happy to make more tutorials. I'll catch you back here for the next one.